Hello, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Jolie and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist from the PIG Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of heat. I've included this question in the handout, which you can download for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get started. Brennan has three containers of water, X, Y, and Z, for Grandpa James to soak his feet in. Grandpa James sat on a chair and placed his right foot into container X and his left foot into container Z. After some time, he lifted both his feet and he placed them together in container Y. Now here's where it gets interesting. Even though he placed both his feet into the same container together, Grandpa James said that his right leg felt cold but his left leg felt warm. And based on these different observations, we need to find out what are the possible temperatures of water in all three containers. So how do we approach this question? Let's do this step by step, or in this case, foot by foot. We're going to analyze the right leg first, then the left leg. Now when he placed his right leg inside Y, he said that his right leg felt cold. For his right leg to become cooler, should the right leg gain or lose heat? The right leg should lose heat to the water in Y. Now, for his right leg to lose heat to the water in Y, should the right leg be warmer or cooler than the water in Y? Recall what is the property of heat. We always say that heat travels from a warmer to cooler region. So if the right leg loses heat to the water in Y, it means that the right leg must be warmer and the water in Y should be cooler. Now after that, you need to ask yourself, why is the right leg warmer than Y? Before placing the right leg inside container Y, where did we place the right foot? We placed it inside container X. That means the water in X must have caused the right leg to become warmer than Y. So what can we assume? We can say that the water in X must be warmer than the water in Y. So this will actually cause the right leg to become warmer. And when we transfer the right leg from X to Y, the warmer right leg will then lose heat to the cooler water in Y to become colder. Now once that's clear, let's move on to the left leg. For the left leg, when we place it inside container Y, he said that his left leg felt warm. So if his left leg became warmer, did the left leg gain heat or lose heat? Warmer means the left leg gains heat. So if the left leg gains heat from the water in Y, is the left leg warmer or cooler than the water in Y? Same thing, recall the property of heat. Heat travels from a warmer to cooler region. If the left leg gains heat, it must gain heat from something that is warmer. That means the left leg should be cooler than the water in Y. So the water in Y should be warmer. Now the next question to ask is, why is the left leg cooler than Y? Before placing the left leg in container Y, we placed it in container Z. So the water in Z must have caused the left leg to become cooler than Y. That means the water in Z should also be cooler than Y. So when the left leg was placed in Z at first, it became cooler than Y. When we transfer the left leg to container Y, the cooler left leg was able to gain heat to become warmer. So once this is clear, we should be able to get our answer. Now, the question asks, which of the following shows the possible temperatures of water in all three containers? And we know that X should be warmer than Y, Z should be cooler than Y. In that case, when we say X is warmer than Y, it means that it will be at a higher temperature than Y because warmer objects have a higher temperature. So what should I see? I should be looking for a bigger number. A larger temperature means a bigger number than Y. Okay, and the opposite applies for Z. If it's cooler than Y, we are looking for a lower temperature than Y. So I should observe a smaller number than Y. Now in that case, you should be able to get your answer. The only possible answer is number 4. 
Why? Because 50 degrees Celsius for container X is larger than 25 degrees Celsius of container Y. And then 5 degrees Celsius of container Z is smaller than 25 degrees Celsius of container Y. So the answer is number 4. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we have made, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!